people of Earth. With this second episode of the new season, I guess we're really doing this. First of all, it's not real. Second, if you haven't heard the news, Hello from the Magic Tavern has partnered with Sam Rockwell, yes, Guy from Galaxy Quest, and Mark Berger's production company to make an animated version of this show. Link to the article in your Earth Entertainment News Source deadline in the show notes. Speaking of deadlines, I'm remembering how we missed hours all those years ago to cast formally trained voice talent. Ah, well, you either die the hero or live long enough to become the frame device. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hello from the Magic Tavern. A weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp, the greatest warrior in all of Foon. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is everything you need to know. Nine years ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal from the crafty beaver a few blocks away from the Burger King through the dimensional rift that I use to upload a podcast recorded here in the tavern, The Wander Lost in the magical land of Foon. And I am joined, as always, by my co-host. He's wearing a bag on his head with some holes for some reason. Chunt the Talking Badger. Bing bong. For some reason, Arnie, it's to, I don't know, uh, be a little more sneaky, a little I more guess, laying low. Look, buddy, I get it. Like, we're all trying out some new things. Also, it's kind of a more dangerous time with wizard yeah, law. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But I just like, I just love that beautiful badger face. I don't know why you're hiding it away. All right. You know what? Bag comes off. There we go. <laughs> ah, there you go. Oh, uh, boy. I got to say, though, you your head has been in that bag, bag for a while. Your face has looked better. All right. You might want to put it back. On, just until you have a chance to wash up. Okay, this sucks. <laughs> Arnie, did you I, just tell our friend to put a bag on his head? To be clear, first, I told our, my dear friend that I miss his beautiful face and to take the bag off of his head. Well, I just walked up to the table and I only heard you to put putting the bag back on his head. So I did that part. And then also, yes, I did tell him to put the bag back on his head temporarily. Okay, compromise. I use my claws. I cut the bag in half. Half a bag on the head. Oh, you're half in the bag. Okay. All right. That Earth people of, of, of a certain age and with a drinking problem are loving it. I am also, speaking of being a certain age and having a drinking problem, I'm also joined by my How other co host, you. Usador the Wizard. I am Usador, Wizard of the Twelfth Realm of Ephesius, Master of Light and Shadow, Manipulator of Magical Delights, Devourer of Chaos, Champion of the Great Halls of Tarakas. The elves know me as Fian Yalak, the dwarves know me as Zonin and Huxtangis, and I am known throughout the Northeast as Gasmanius Maystar. And lo, I am the tarnished wizard who took away immortality from all other wizards. Mm -hmm. A deed I shall ne'er live down. And you yourself may die. Oh, yeah. Arnie, you're a real fucking bundle of brightness today. What's going on? Are you okay? Look, I'm trying to run this tavern, the Wander Lost, and it can move Your around. face looks fucked. You're going to die. What are we doing here? Your beautiful face temporarily looks fucked. It's got well, half a badger face. You look face. great, Arnie. Well, you look you, great, buddy. and I love you. So, all my cards are on the table. We're all great. We're all great. We're just... We're just trying to fight the Wizards of Foon, and maybe that's got us a little stressed out, but let's focus on the positivity. We're back doing the podcast with my best mm-hmm. buds. Yeah. I'm so happy to see you. Is there anything you want to catch me up on that you oh, were we, doing when we, oh. we weren't recording, when we were on break? Yes, I barely saw you for those several months uh, when we were separated. I was yeah. so happy to see Chunt again, and Arnie, you're here. And uh, hmm. I was searching all over Foon for mystical artifacts to help protect us in this time of dire danger. Uh, no, we know that Spintax could be around any corner, uh, ruling over his area of Foon, but ready to murder any one of us. And we know uh, that uh, that uh, Tim Tam the Teal could bounce out of a 
vent or something to just, yeah. just start murdering people. She could be anywhere, literally, yes. Uh, it's a terrifying time to be alive. So, today, this past week, uh, after months and months of researching at the Great Halls of Tarrakis, after going through tombs and tomes, tombs and tomes. Tombs and tomes? Sometimes tomes in tombs. Oh, uh, sometimes tombs and tomes? That's right. I found this, the ruby of Galazil. Hmm. Okay. Arnie, not impressed, huh? Interesting. Okay. Well, well not surprised. Me. Why did I, I spend four months doing let that? Let me catch you up, Arnie. Let me catch you up Never so you can show on my thing. Um, okay. I spent several months in the celestial fields, Arnie. Huh. The celestial fields is a, a graveyard of stars. Mm. Um, and the uh, the great Gordian uh, watches over it all. Uh, obviously, a giant pumpkin, uh, the Gordian, oh, and yeah. he taught me to fight, so I could help in battle, so I could be uh, more efficient with my um, my new uh, war hammer, of course, Star Smasher. And star I made smasher. my star armor. <laughs> it's uh, star armor, which is mm -hmm. it's a real pain in the ass because I put it. I I sort of. Um, I formed it. I put it on with the help of the Gordian. I formed it. I put okay. it on. I uh, shapeshifted my fur over it. But what sucks is every time I have to go to the bathroom, I have to unshapeshift my fur, take yeah. off all the armor, go to the bathroom, put the armor. It's just a whole process. Mm. Have you ever considered shapeshifting your butt? Have you ever considered shapeshifting all your parts to be someplace else so you don't have to take off the armor to go to the bathroom? Arnie, I... Th Thought through every option and I came up with the best one. So I love mm. that you're I love that you're trying to fix what I did. Yeah. But I'm happy with how it is, Arnie. Okay. What's going on, man? I don't know. I'm sorry. I think I'm just excited to see you and I express my enthusiasm by lightly insulting you. But here's the thing. If I don't like you, I'm nothing but nice to you. Oh. I like you guys the best of everybody. That's why I'm a total asshole to you guys like twenty four seven. Oh, well, okay. Uh, Chunt, I uh, kind of agree with that, yeah. We can't really see the Starmer. Uh, does it have any fun catchphrases on it? No. Like, large, please, daddy, or something? Or is it just, just armor? It's just, I mean, it's it's so hard to carve into stars. Like, yeah. they're just ri the, it's such dense material. <laughs> it might um, be difficult for you. <laughs> oh, did you? Come on. Let me, hold on. Let me unshift. Arnie, is there something on my armor? Look, look on my back. Is there something written on my armor? Did you sort of write something? <laughs> yeah, it says property of Usador. Come is. on. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby of Galazil. <laughs> it's perfect for carving into stars. You guys, have I been in this magical land too long that a giant yes. fucking ruby just doesn't mean anything? I'm just like, great, giant ruby. It's not just a giant ruby, Arnie. It's a mystical giant ruby with the power Ooh. to carve stars and all sorts of other cool magical shit. I take okay. my little notepad like what's here. other cool? What's one other cool magical thing it does? I could just shoot a beam of energy like this. Okay, well you just blew a hole in the top of the tavern. That's not great. Arnie, so much criticism. I can repair it with this magical beam. Uh, Arnie, what have you been up to? I know you have two swords on your back that you can't seem to pull out. I, I um, know, like I, I literally, I ne didn't test them out before I put them on my back. Here's the thing, I can't, I can't figure out how to unbuckle it, so I can't get them off of my back. You're so sleeping that. like that. I'm sleeping. You're sleeping like on that. your stomach. <laughs> on my stomach. Arnie, these swords. Jesus Christ. I know. And then I can't like I cannot pull them like I cannot pull them out of the top. Like I can slide <sighs> them a, like you can hear just a little, like a little shink. Like just a Ask little for bit. help, man. I like I feel like I'm just like doing two shake weights on the like above my head, which I don't love that visual. No. But I just can't get these out. I'm not even certain. I tried doing a cartwheel uh, to see if they would fall out. Guess what, guys? Can't do a cartwheel. Oh, well, I mean. So maybe that would you were You weren't really burying the lead there. We we knew how okay. that was going to end. Act shocked, act shocked, chunt, act shocked, <laughs> act shocked. Um, but guys, please, I love you both. Don't shoot magical you. holes through the ceiling. We have... Tenants in the tavern staying in the rooms up there briefly. Oh, oh, sorry. That's why we are not currently moving from location to location. I know. I love this area. It's such a beautiful, 
mystical ethereal forest where the trees are pink and teal and yellow. It's, it's lovely here, but there's such mystical energies floating through the air. I know that even more magical secrets shall be mine. I'm, you know what? I'm going to take the mic over to the door. Just, what? just so our listeners can hear this wonderful waterfall. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, now we're back inside where it's just our voices and farts that's, and shit. That's, that's the sort of... Uh, our voices, your farts, Arnie. Hmm, our voices, your farts. You're projecting. <laughs> Arnie, we should... Now that you own this tavern, the, uh, the beautiful Wanderlust, I think you should make sort of a big sign that says... No, blank, blank, blank. So like you said, no shooting beams through the ceiling. That should be on the wall somewhere because we're going to get all sorts of magical creatures, oh. all sorts of oh. mages and witches. I do, and I do have that one sign behind the bar that says some that wander are in fact lost. And that's adorable. That's great. Please yeah. keep that. But I'm just yeah. saying uh, you, should lay, <laughs> you should lay down the wall a little bit, Arnie. Whatever you want uh, the rules to be, you should set them Sure. In stone and oh, put that on the wall. Fuck! Speaking of set, I promised a continental breakfast. I can, pro- guys. Can we put together a cot? Like, that someone's is that be like down foods from any- across the continent? Like, what are we you just have about? to set out the bare minimum of breakfast for for the person staying here. Okay, um, uh, boys, let's get to work. <laughs> Okay, uh... Chuck's uh, Chuck's Chuck, 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 riding around on, on Centipede uh, faster than I've ever seen. Uh, Very compost everywhere. Guys, he's, we're he's fucking just eggs. running around not doing anything. Goat meal. Goat meal. Did anyone else get awoken by somebody saying a wizard's name so loud? Oh, Was that just me? I'm oh. so sorry. Oh my god, this place. Ah, you guys, you, you, ah, ah, non pretzel woman. Excuse me. I'm sorry. What? What's wrong? First of all, what's wrong with your face? Yeah. Well, he's kind of got half a badger face and half a bag face. He's not the badger we need, but he's the badger we deserve. I see. <laughs> um, great. I salute you. Uh, is this. Sorry, Ar- Arnie, right? Yes, yeah, I, I own this place. I'm also from another world. All right, uh, uh, listen, Not I relevant just, to the conversation we're having, I'm, but I still throw that in. I desperately need a continental breakfast. Okay, well, we've got some goat meal over here. Um, I didn't hear oh, all the other meal. things that oh. Chunt muttered, um, but uh, Chunt, actually, why don't you... And I'm so sorry, I know... I, I don't remember you checking in. I thought someone else checked in. What was uh, your name again? Uh, I'm Fortunata. Hello. Fortunata. Um, Pleasure to meet you. Hi, Fortunata. That's very, very nice to meet you guys. Um, yeah, you probably checked in someone named Memrir Wizardsbane. Well, let, that- me look in the, oh. let me look in the book. Let me look in the book. Uh, yeah, I can't fucking read my own handwriting, so it's, I don't know. Somebody. Yeah, I, I suspect big Real tall, nine feet tall yeah. or so, mm-hmm. impossibly long, beautiful hair, sort of mm-hmm. ageless face, glowing eyes. Yeah, um, the glowing no. eyes I mostly remember because I'm tall, and I, and so if I notice that someone's tall, I'm like, shit, that person is tall. But Arnie, you're possibly tall. Yes, I am possibly tall, uh, and it's this woman was impossibly tall. Correct. You said memory of wizards bane. Yeah. Uh, Memrir, M-E-M-R-I-R, Wizardsbane, oh. spelled the usual way. Spelled like it sounds. And Wizardsbane is like a family name or that's like a title? Oh, God. Listen, it's, it really sounds like we're getting off on the wrong foot here. Um, I'm Fortunata. Hi, Fortunata. Oh, actually, Fortunata. Yes, right. please. Yeah. Have some breakfast. Hi. Enjoy Thank yourself. You. Enjoy yeah. the hospitality here. I Thank don't have you. an official job here yet. Ani's running the tavern, but... I usually end up doing a lot of the kind of like mm-hmm. uh, cleaning and cooking and, yeah. and uh, the busy work. I see. I'm just realizing we've all three of us at different times owned a tavern. This is such a dynamic show, isn't it? There's a lot happening at a breakneck pace. Ooh, who's going to own this one? Oh, please, Fortunata. You didn't. You didn't ask me if I'd owned a tavern. Oh. Fortunata, have you ever owned a tavern? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I was, oh, I was no, just, okay. I wanted to be a part of the moment. No, I get it. I get it. 
Would you would you like to own a tavern? Is that a dream of yours? Is this one for sale or? Mm. Well, it's cursed, and Arnie uh, oh. bought it, bought it with the curse on it. So, oh, well, I'm not gonna sell it if you tell everybody that. Uh, Fortune, uh. let me lay down the full uh, spread here. Oh man, is this is this? Did you guys make this goat meal? This is this is really good. There's like thank you almost no bones in this. Mm. How did you do that? It looks Incredible. like ground up goat. Is that wow. just a ground up goat? Hmm. Yeah, goat meal. Goat meal. Uh, yeah, Arnie, it's yeah. goat meal. Okay. What's, is he always like this? Yeah, yes. unfortunately. He's really on one this season. Um, And we're just starting. Uh, so, Fortunata, what is this uh, that you're wearing? Here? Oh, yeah. So, um, well, this is sort of my traditional, uh, I guess you would call it like a leotard. Uh, yeah. Is I, it's, I I never really describe my my outfit. You know, that's a, a leotard. I've got sort of this wide metallic belt here, oh, okay. um, and um, these tights. They're actually opaque. They they look they look like they're translucent, but they're they're opaque tights because you know uh, it gets it gets cold out there. Um, sure. Some some of these these boots flat soled, very uh-huh. practical, very practical. Mm-hmm. Um, and then of course here on my back <laughs> oh. is. Um, my sword. Um, Whoa, that's a gigantic it's... sword. And she yeah, had no goodness. trouble getting off her back, Arnie. What's I your know. excuse? Yeah. I mean, I have, it was, it's not easy though, is it, Arnie? Like, it's yeah. not yeah, easy. Yeah, look at these things. Look at, I'm just trying to. Don't make that hand motion. Stop making that hand motion. <laughs> it does sort of look like you're shaking a weight behind both shoulders when you yeah, do it. It's true. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, but this blade that you have, Fortunata, why, it's, it's so beautiful and so ornate. Why, and this, this, this jewel encrusted, I, oh, I've never seen such a beautiful thing. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, this is a, this is called a sort of wizard stabbing. Oh. Um, yeah, and it's a good thing we don't have any wizards yeah. around here, right? Yeah, yeah, the one you, that woke you up flew away. Yeah. That's that is so good, man. They they can be loud. Yeah, yeah, they can. <laughs> I I guess as I look at this closely, this sword is made of obsidian, which is one of the few mm-hmm. things that kills wizards on contact. Pretty very rare. Most I thought I thought most obsidian in Foon was gone. Yeah, this one is actually an extra planar obsidian um, that. Memrir got from the plane of existence where she's from. Um, oh. So, yeah, she's. Uh, she, it's it's kind of her blade, and honestly, like, it's it's messed up that I have to carry it around. But you know, it's it's it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, so are you roommates? Is she, is she upstairs? Is she coming down later? Does we need to make something for her for breakfast that we should um, know about? Something poisoned, maybe. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> Don't like this. Don't be weird about this. But um, hold on, everyone. Before you go on, Arnie, are you mm-hmm. gonna be weird about this? Well, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, but I'll try to keep it like no, subtly no. weird. Chunt, are you gonna be weird about this? I mean, I'll try not to be. You store, are you gonna be weird about this? I'm not gonna be weird about it. Okay. All right, Fortunata. Guys, this is what we say before every episode. Let's not be too much like Pete Holmes. Who's who's Pete <laughs> That's, Holmes? Earth people are trying to remember what I'm talking about. Great, Arnie. Now you made it weird. <laughs> Arnie's from another world, you see. And so he has all these uh, this knowledge of things that we don't know about. But the people on his world, they find this, these little bone moats uh, just hilarious and, and insightful. Can you imagine having a oh, home thanks. made out of peat? It would go up in flame Weekly. Instantly, yeah. A Pete home? That would be... Yeah. I wouldn't pay for that. Ridiculous. Maybe a Pete apartment, but... Ooh. Uh, sorry, uh, Fortunata, we're not going to make it weird. Please. Uh, yeah, please. yeah, please. Great. I, I just wanted to get us a, a real sign in before you moved on. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> the thing is, um, if I say a phrase, which okay. I would never say, sure. um, okay. of course, not around you guys. <laughs> it's, Ooh, a game. We're pretty um, catchphrase positive around here. I've got to be honest. Well, it's the thing is when I say the phrase, mm-hmm. I kind of transform into memory or wizard's bane, um, and then she gets she's sort of like in control of my body. That's nine mm. feet taller and weighs about 150 pounds more oh, of pure muscle, um, okay. and she's like 
She's like really into stabbing wizards. So I just, I, I just feel like that again. So glad, so glad. There's no wizards here. Me too. Oh, can you imagine? Uh, Arnie, you sir, I see what's going on here. She's a cock tickler. You know, like um, they get into a role, they memorize lines. You know, it's like if I was like, my name's Chunt, but uh, when I put on this hat and mustache, I'm a uh, Captain Fandango. Like it's that kind of thing, right? One, I want to see more of that Captain Fandango play later. <laughs> we got to get a spinoff of... How many episodes can Captain Fandango do for the Patreon, do you think? I don't think he's interested. Oh, God. Two, I have actually heard of this sort of uh, thing before. Uh, Fortunata, I must ask, is this... um? Do you switch places or do you actually transform? Do you take on extra mass from some sort of pocket universe that makes you bigger and stronger? Or is Memria just sitting on another plane of existence right now, kind of waiting to get out? Are you two totally separate beings, or...? Amazing question. Thank you for asking. Um, it used to be that we were separate beings, but now we've completely merged. Nope. And so mm. Memria kind of gets to take over my life uh, about 12 hours a day. Um, and so it's it's not... I wouldn't call it, like... I wouldn't call it a healthy relationship, um, uh. necessarily. But it's it's it doesn't it's just if I say the it, it's, if I say the phrase you know like it's and we don't have to say it sure sure to, right? I, 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 it seems like well within your control to not say that phrase unless it's some yeah. sort of very common phrase like uh, like uh, oh my my pants are on fire or something right. like that sure no uh, my like something you'd say every day no you definitely don't want that right. Uh, but speaking uh, of which, Usador, your pants are on fire. Oh, my pants are on fire. Ooh, um, the phrase isn't, let's take a break, is it, Fortunata? I don't think so. I can try it. (laughs) Well, um, say it. Let's go ahead and go to break. Fortunata, throw us the break. (sighs) Let's take a break. Uh, We're good. No, it's good. good. We're We're fine. We're fine. Hey there, good looking. It's Chunt letting you know you can check out all of our bonus material, including my personal favorite, Offices and Bosses, over at patreon.com slash magic tavern. Bye-bye. Uh, Fortunata, I, I have to ask, uh, what brings you to this area? Uh, what is it? Th- what is thine vocation? Well... Thank you again for asking. God, you're so nice. This is such a, I love this tavern, Arnie. This like this vibe, oh, this and you gotta pay this janitor more. Like whatever whatever you're paying him. Wow, incredible. Yeah. Just an um, old janitor. <laughs> just a random old janitor. I random. So I live in a in this this encampment out in the Enchanted Forest. Oh. Um, you guys may have appreciated the waterfall. Most people do um, yeah. the audio of it, obviously, because yeah, it's not so it's not entirely fact, visible. I'm gonna go over. Just hold on, just one second. I'm gonna go open this door. Ugh, Arnie, just so our listeners. I mean, so much better than the talking and farts going on in here. All right, we have to figure out how to rein in these farts. What are you eating? I'm Is so it? so. I'm sorry. No, is those farts? Those are those are Arnie's farts. Is he? Does he always do that? It's not. Well, it's it not seems to have gotten worse lately. Wait a minute. So- whoa, whoa. After she said those are Arnie's farts, what's going on? She's growing. <laughs> oh, her hair is getting longer. Oh, oh. oh her oh. muscles. Oh. What a. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh, those grown eyes. Her catchphrase is those are Arnie's farts? Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Goodness uh, gracious. Look at you. For, look at the tiny little badger. What is wrong with your face, little badger? Yeah. Uh, sorry, ma'am. I'm wearing half a mask, ma'am. That's true. You are. But the other half of your face is very well smashed down. Wow. Yeah. Does anyone have a continental breakfast available? Yes, there's goat meal and all, all sorts of uh, fruits oh. and berries. And God, I hate goat meal. Give me some berries, I suppose. Hmm. Uh, well, guys, you- guys, guys, just a second. I know this is a minor detail, but should I charge her for two continental yes, breakfasts? Yes, like absolutely. She's, Arnie, she's yes. staying in a room as one yeah. person, but she's yeah. eating two yeah. separate continental breakfasts. And here's the thing. If, if, if they don't kind of talk to each other, charge them twice for the room. <laughs> oh, shit. You're right. Yes, absolutely. Uh, would you like a roasted egg? A roasted egg? By all means, toss it up here. Here you go. Shell on and everything. Whoop. 
Ooh, the roasting actually brings quite a lot of flavor to the shell. Oh, yeah. Guys, while she ate that, did she go? <laughs> Maybe she's casting a spell. You're rude. You're being rude. Uh, uh, oh, man. Well, she's, uh, her face is so far away. She can't hear anything I'm saying. I can right? hear all of it. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, what was your name again? Mem- 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 Memory, Wizard's Bane. Uh, mem- we met memory. your compatriot, Fortunata. Uh, oh. And she lets us know that you are staying here. Uh, so I'm, I'm hoping that... Um, well, I just wonder what uh, brings you to the area. What did Fortunata say about me? Oh, that bitch uh, lies a lot. Whoa! She said, uh, she said that you were very uh, uh, becoming and beguiling and uh, charming uh, in your own way. No, actually, I found this burn tome on the table here. Uh, let's flip through here. Ooh, that's pretty nasty. Mm. That's pretty rude. What does it say? I don't want to read it, ma'am. Uh, here, I'll, I'll um, let me try and jump up so you can grab the burn tome. You reach all the way down. Goodness, you're an exceptionally small badger. Uh. Did this is this is in Fortunata's handwriting? Oh. Damn. Damn, she says some really rough shit about me in here. Oh. What are some, what are some of the sweetest burns? If you don't the mind. sweetest burns. She says she couldn't bane a wizard out of a paper bag. Oh. oh. Burn. It's terrible. Well, anyway, I'm here. Here, can I take a look? Oh, oh, you want to see the burn book? Yeah, can I take a look? Of course, of course. Here, take it. Oh, my back. Oh, nine foot bitch be eating clouds all day? <laughs> Pretty good. Oh. Did she say huh. that? That's really in there. Yeah. Huh. Oh. It's, Damn. It seems like a weak one to me, I'm going to be honest. It's not my favorite. Chunt, here, take a look. Okay, oh, uh, let's... Another, sure. Read it out. This bitch's face be covered in crushed birds flying into her face? I mean, I guess. She's really got a thing about how tall you are, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That, those oh, are wait. not my words. I found, it says here, she keeps pooping on my roof? That was one time. Oh, so that really happened. That's just a fact. So wait, you poop standing up? Is that right? Well, it's a small roof. <laughs> okay, so um, hard, harder to aim? Very hard to aim. It was an accident. I was walking... Oh, wait, listen, we don't... What were you we trying to poop on? <laughs> I'm not comfortable answering that question. Okay, fair. I retract that question. I Listen, this conversation has been absolutely wonderful for me, but I, I, have, a, I have a job to do. You can tell... Mm. Probably by my name, I I am on the trail of an especially foul wizard. Oh, oh Spintax the Green! It's it it, it is Spintax the Green. <gasps> oh, Ooh. and and, and to be clear, it's not Usador the Blue. Usador the Blue. No, I, he's a little below my attention at the moment. Okay, well, I mean, he's done a lot of pretty amazing and impressive things. <laughs> okay, shut up, janitor. Uh, uh, you know, uh, even a lovely mopping, janitor uh, like me knows mop, that mop, you Mop, mop, all day long, okay. So, uh, excuse me, janitor boy. Is that boy. the ruby of Galazil in your hand? Oh, yeah. Uh, I found this in the ethereal forest, and I was just going to, I was going to take it back. Uh, to the encampment there, I figured one of the, you know, uh, the stalwart and mighty heroes uh, there might use it for, you know, all sorts of mystical fun. Nice. Because I, I, I can't use it. Just a janitor. Uh, this was my question, for you see, none can even wield it, but for wizard kind. Well, I mean... It depends on your definition of the word wield. I'm holding it? Is that wielding it? I don't think it's exactly wielding it. I can hold a sword. I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily wielding the sword. It really, it, it, I think the word wield, it, it has some, uh, it, it kind of implies prowess. Holding, holding's just like, Arnie, hold this beer. He dropped it. Oh. oh. All right. I thought you, I thought it was a meme. If you were to one-up someone, you might say, hey, wield this ruby. 
Is that is that right? But this janitor makes a good point. He's holding that ruby like a real idiot who doesn't know what he's doing with it. Uh, oh, look at me. Uh, oh, he cut his hand. He cut his hand real bad. Oh, my didn't hand. Didn't he? Yeah, didn't look he? Look at it yeah. bleeding. Oh, there's that is normal this, blood. That's true. This this is clearly an idiot. Uh, don't fight, Bob. Janitor. Okay. Anyway. This this evil spin tax, and while I'm at it, this Usador the Blue. Mm-hmm. It's better to be rid of these wizards, don't you think? I agree mostly what? completely. I mean, look, the wizard law being instituted, and the wizards are exactly. really making everything worse in Foon for everybody. It's a good, probably a good time to be a wizard killer. Is that what inspired you to become a wizard killer? Like the fact that the wizards took over various uh, various pieces of land and food and now rule over them with an iron fist? Or have you always been a wizard killer? In my dimension, wizards have always been evil and, and also just annoying. Sure. And so it has always been a pleasure to me. I was named, I was dubbed Wizard's Bane at my birth. Wow. Because I had the look of someone who would extinguish wizards from the land. Can when I, I heard about wizard law, I knew, I knew that this was my opportunity to seize a willing host and do my own brand of vengeance. Wow, so you're saying wizard law summoned you into this dimension? Yes, yes. Well, the news spreads fast, you know. Sure. It, we, we heard about it in my dimension long ago. It is. I mean, it happened we, in the season very, finale. So, very yeah, frightening. Very they exciting. always say, extinguish what you hate and you'll never work a day in your life. <laughs> they do always say that. Yes. You have any resentment about that naming thing? I re- they really put you in a box. You know. It is a bold move to be like, look at this baby's face, wizard killer. I mean, memory, like, what are your dreams? What did you want to be? What Everyone else is telling you you have to be this. It's, we're literally naming you it. Maybe that maybe you want to be a poet or a a, 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 a janitor. No one has ever asked me this question, mm. lowly idiot yes. janitor. But I, mm. I've never thought about it. I could be a poet's bane. Yeah. I, I could be. Huh. I could be a badger's bane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, look out! Oh, 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 strong. Oh, you're oh, strong. Oh, you're strong. Oh, you're strong. Oh, do you have any baby paintings by any chance of you as a baby? Oh, are, is this one of your baby paintings? Let me open this. In the burn book? Oh, she put one in the burn book, did she? This wow. bitch husband a tree? <laughs> oh, that's not a, sorry, that's not a picture. Does that even make sense? <laughs> this bitch husband a tree? She wrote that? Usador, stop carving that into the starmer. <laughs> uh, if, you know, memory, or uh, perhaps, uh... What what possessed you to possess Fortunata of of all people? Why didn't you just open a portal to this plane and enter fully formed uh, the way I did? Oh uh, uh, well, it's, uh, joke, uh, joking of course. Uh, we, I mean, that that's just how I talk about my mom's. Got, got it, right? Yes, of course, the birthing process that normal mammals go through. Yes. Yep, totally normal mammal. That's me. Normal mammal, little normal mammal. Um, you you don't mind if I call you that, do you? No, please. No, all three of us were just little normal mammals, Arnie. We're mm. all. Let's say it together: one, two, three. Little totally normal, normal mammal. mammals. Mammals. Well, when you say it in unison, it's true. That's one of the rules mm-hmm. of food. <laughs> um, no, I forgot the question. Ask it again. Sorry, <laughs> little mammal. What did you say? Oh, uh, just uh, why Fortunata? Why did oh, you right, choose right, right. to possess her her form? Well, it's mostly because you've met her. She's a little, she's kind of a little wiener. And it's very oh. easy, oh. very easy to possess someone who's just kind of a little wiener. If there's a sentence I can identify with is, it's easy to possess a little wiener. Arnie, no. Ha ha ha! I'm sort of seeing Fortunata's point of view here with this burn book. Uh... If you just think she's a little wiener, I, I, essentially you're the same person uh, on some level. Uh, Perhaps you need to like deal with these issues, go to therapy, put wizard killing aside for a year or ten, and 
Just focus on, you know, yourself. Focus on that work. I don't wish to go to therapy. Okay. All right. Whoa! 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 Fortunata! God. Fortunata! Hey, uh, let me help you up off the floor here. Are you okay? Whoa. Whoa. Wait. This... Did you guys... What's going on with my burn book? Oh. oh. Uh, whoa, what the fuck? It's... Guys, it's turned over. And now if we open it this way, look at this. It's a burn book. Is that about me? now. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Memory what is she made or? one. What does she say? What does she say? What does it say? How is it possible that the two of you haven't found the other side of this book that each other <laughs> It writing? exists in different dimensions. Oh, okay. Each page is a... Don't worry about it. Chunt, read one or two. <sighs> this bitch passed through a door in a normal way. <sighs> that is so mean. Does she call me a little mammal? Did she write yeah. that down? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Says, hashtag little mammal, hashtag little wiener. Yeah. Little wiener. Hashtag Arnie farts. <laughs> Hashtag you... Arnie farts? Is that what that smell Whoa. is? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what? That one was a little <laughs> delayed. Chunt. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? It's the, what happened? I think your uh, I think your egg uh, you uh, the egg you crunched on earlier I think it um, uh, uh, caused you to get sick. Um, God, that was a good crunchy egg though. Ar Arnie, use her. What was the phrase that uh, turned her back into Fortunata? I, I don't know. The book changed back again. This is crazy. This is weird. This bitch is obsessed with hashtags. It's cr it's normal for a woman to change into a much larger, powerful woman, but for a book, for a book, Arnie? Yeah. What is going on? Wow, Chunt. That's really whatever a thing word against books would be. <laughs> what Lie racist. <laughs> 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 That's it, libracist. Wait, am I a libracist? Yeah, for sure. I don't want to be a libracist. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm not. No, I love all books. No, you are. No, I, uh, the books are great. Well, uh, memory. I never uh, judge them. Never judge. I, I just think that, you know, killing wizards is an important thing to do, especially if you start with spin tax. Oh, but at yes. some point. There are only so many wizards. Like, what are you going to do after that? Who, Who is the real Memria? The real Memria. Never got to find out who the real Memria was. Oh, right. Deep. And who knows, maybe... I mean, it's crazy to think, but... Perhaps I could have been a great wizard myself. Oh. Well, uh, well you, you could be a wizard. Wizards are born in this world from a conspiracy of bird and wind and rain and fire that insist there be a champion that come forth into the world to protect us from all oh, evils. Oh, I see things, some things orange like juice on the floor over there, buddy. Why don't you clean that up? Let's take a quick no, break. And, right. um, uh, Arnie, we've got to remember that phrase for Fortuna. And we'll be right back with more books that we love. Let me kiss all the books. I love books. Tis I, Usador, and I command thee. Go to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a member and get all of our wonderful bonus content. Are, are you having, are you, are you having more dairy? I, I don't know. Or is it, is it like a, we, we have to get this under a control. temperature thing? What's going on? Do we need to get you a second butthole like us? I think it might be because I have to sleep on my stomach because of these swords. It's just yeah. not good for my digestion. Yeah. Ha has anyone else tried pulling the swords out? Should we do that? Or should we wait a few weeks? I I could get those swords out, no problem. Oh, it's a trick. It's like a pull my finger, but pull my sword. Don't do it. Don't do it. Arnie, do you want memory to try to pull out the swords? I need I consent. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Just right. I'm trying not to break my swords. I'll do my best, little mammal. Uh, oh, you're picking me up, picking me up. Oh, <laughs> they're really, they're really in they're here, really aren't in they? There. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Okay. Oh. Oh. No. Is it possible that I bought prank swords? Like, they're not even real? I, I was just about to ask. Did you buy these, like, joke swords from Elasto? Elasto? Yeah, he's Elasto, the, little... the Elasto, the guy who runs the joke shop? Oh, is that? I thought that was the, the magic tinkerer shop. That's a joke no, shop? No, it's a joke shop. All right, I gotta remember to read things. Yeah, that's why they have all those jokes there. Uh, Memoria, uh, 
I just wanted you to, uh, uh, I just found this book randomly. I thought, oh, nice. Oh, hell yeah. Look uh, at this. Take, Everyone, take look, it look, easy. Look. Yeah. You're really, okay. you're really gilding the lily. Okay. Uh, here, uh, memory. Uh, I just thought maybe this book would be, uh, you know, interesting to you. It's a self-help book. It's called, uh, it's called Better You, Better Me, Better Us, Better Everyone. That's a long title. Does that seem interesting to you? It's like a thing you'd want to read before you, uh, I, you know. If you're trying to get me to go to therapy, I don't want to go to therapy. Ah! Whoa! 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 My God. I am going to throw up. Fortunata. Yes. Fortunata. I, what? Jesus. That book changed again. <laughs> so that's I don't want to hear any more of them. She's so mean. There is a way that we can help you. We believe we have discovered the phrase that churns memory back into you, Fortunata. And oh. that is, I don't want to go to therapy. You have to really get into therapy. You have to be kind of obnoxious about it. You have to talk about it too much. You have to have a lot of self-help books around because that might trigger her unintentionally. Oh. Like, like if people are just having a conversation at a party where they're just talking about maybe a play they've seen or something, you'd be like, well, my therapist, blah, blah, blah. Make sure to bring it up a lot because that way just the conversation around you was kind of always about therapy. That's absolutely terrific. Have you have you guys figured out what my trigger phrase is to turn into her so I can stop saying it? Oh, um. <sighs> I'd rather not say. What, yeah, it's yeah, kind of we embarrassing. Kn- we wow. do know. And honestly, it's a fucking miracle you ever said it before you showed up here today, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Whatever. Uh, it must come up a lot. I don't know. I guess so. Uh, uh, but that matters not. Uh, are people just traveling all around Foon? Is everyone around all around Foon talking about my farts? You're not the only Arnie, okay? You, you are one. Yes, one. You aren't the only Arnie. Two, uh, maybe because they're pretty bad. That's why we're looking at what's in your diet right now. Are mm. you drinking a lot of coffee? Do you know how many toilet stalls I went into uh, to take off my star armor and do my business? And there's, yeah, it was 12. What the fuck? And there was Ar- Arnie farts carved into the stalls. Oh, no. For a good Wait, time. Wait, so is Arnie farts the phrase? Whoa! 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 I could get used to this. This is pretty fun, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, memory, I have to know. Uh, I, I know that, uh, I don't exactly see eye to eye with you, and uh, as a lowly janitor, it's not my place to decide. Well, you're well, like five not- foot two, so it would be very difficult to see okay. eye to eye with me. Damn. I'm five eleven. All right. Well, uh. online perhaps. That that just means if you stand on a line that's very thick, then you would gain nine inches in height. Now, uh, I have to know. Uh, this sword. The sword came with you from your dimension. Is it solely for the purpose of, of killing wizards? It's so beautiful and ornate and all these all these jewels encrusted into it. What was that always its purpose? Oh no, no, no. It's much in it. its history has to do a lot with you know, saving the world and being heroic and uh, and and defending and protecting the innocent and so forth. Yes. Oh, it's been really? lo- most of its history there, yes. <gasps> Well, why don't you follow that path then and join my quest to defeat, to clean, to, to clean, clean to everything, defeat, to clean all the clean all the feet marks, the feet, and all its uh, the feet leave the marks on yeah. the floor, and we yeah. need to clean them with the mop. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right, buddy. <laughs> hey, why don't you do that math problem over there, um, uh, uh, Arnie? Let's. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, before I go do the, ma- the math problem, I just wanted to point out on the Continental Breakfast, we do have some wonderful apples. How do you like these apples? They're going to be delicious. They're a little they look, old. They, they look terrific. Yes. Don't wonderful slam them up apples. against my face. Just what are you doing? Stop yeah. slamming it up against my face. Yeah. How do you like these apples? The f- they're good. They're fine. John. Fuck. Yeah. So our main mission right now is to defeat the wizards. I think memory or could be a tool in helping us. To kill the wizards, we just want to yeah. maybe try to keep her from killing you, Sidor. Right? Yes. Yeah, that's right. So let's give her. Um, do we have like a something that could sniff out Spintax? Like some, I don't know, like some sort of Spintax sniffing device or a pic or a picture? A picture? <laughs> huh? I should have. Why did I go <sighs> Spintax yeah. sniffing device? I should have went with picture. A picture of Spintax. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, seven. What's the answer? Uh, uh, 
Memria, uh, yes. who, who gave you the name Wizard's Bane? Was well, it your birth parents, or were you, were you maybe separated from those heroic parents and that beautiful, who gave you that beautiful sword? I was, I was created whole set. Uh, and uh, was I don't don't know that I had a normal little mammalian type of birth. No. Um, I was created of stardust and rainbows and and uh, unicorn wishes and so forth. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh I really want to. Arnie, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Janitor. I, uh, I have to get memory to join my quest. Usador. I hate. I hate that I'm going to ask this. Please. Do you have any kind of Spintex sniffing device? Sniffing device? Like a device that would sniff out Or Spintex. picture. Or, oh, wait, yep, yep, that's the one, yep, you're right. Let's Do you have see. a picture of any Spintax that of we could give to Memoryer? I don't have any pictures of Spintax. I have a, I have this Spintax sniffing device, and I've got okay, this. Okay, well, um, yeah, we'll do in a pinch, got, that'll work. I've got this Spintax compass, and I've got a. Uh, Why is this, that spelled that way? <laughs> this Spintax uh, 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 air horn mm-hmm. that like works like a radar. So if like, you point it in his direction, it bounces back faster. It's kind of like kind of like a echolocation thing. Look, I know you and Spintax were buddies back in the day, but we can try to send memory off to kill Spintax. It's kind of come to that, I think. Uh, oh, well, I I suppose I. I I suppose I'm already a traitor to all of wizard kind and that I'll never be accepted back fully into their ranks. And my only hope for redemption is that the goddesses shall understand the steps that I took, extreme though they were, were the necessary steps to protect food. So fine. Memria shall unknowingly be our agent of chaos and hopefully take out my old frenemy, Spintax. Here... Also, give her this. It's a it's a rock that you can type uh, a number into, uh, and Spintax has the other one. Uh, oh, we could we just call these beeper rocks. Uh, <laughs> Spintax and I used to have these beepers, and we would just we would just be like, you know, S O S or or H E L P, you know, when we were back when we were good friends. Back I assume when you were drug dealers. Us. What? I'm still a drug dealer. Uh, Okay, so that's 25 gold for your room, and of course, 25 gold for your friend's room. 50 gold. Okay, and the kind of breakfast. She's not my friend. Don't forget about the upcharge for the breakfast. Uh, Yeah, so we uh, two continental breakfasts. Uh, Okay, so that will be 72 gold. 72 gold, all right. Food is just as expensive as everyone says it is. (laughs) Ka-ching! Bag of gold for you. And memory are... I hate that I'm going to say this, but here's a spin tax sniffing device that will help you find one of the most powerful and killable Thank wizards you. in all of Foon. And here's a spin tax compass. And, um, Why is it ugh. spelled like that? Ugh. I don't. I don't know. Good luck. I, maybe don't use that one. Maybe just use the sniffing device. Do I sniff it or what is it? How does this work? I think it, that's a good question. The janitor understands well, it. You put you put it on your nose, and you take a yes. big whiff, and, and it, it'll kind of point you. It, it sort of it sort of turns you into a dog that can only smell spintax. Oh. And speaking of putting it on your nose, mustache hat. Hey kids, Captain Fandango here to tell you it's Ooh. not okay to be libracist. It's in a book, so take a look. Don't be libracist. <laughs> Thanks, kids. Yay. <laughs> You've been listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern as a way of building up your immune system against all quality levels of entertainment. Use It or the Wizard was played by Matt Young. Chaunt the Talking Badger was played by Adol Rafai. Fortunata and Memory or Wizard's Bane were both played by special guest Kate Welch. Kate plays Rosie B. Stinger in Acquisition Incorporated to the C Team. Check out her fantasy inspired whiskey label, Quests End, at QuestsEndWhiskey.com. Quests End, hmm. A framing device can dream. Hello from the Magic Tavern is an independent production, made possible by supporters of the Magic Tavern Patreon. Supporters like Ryan Phantom, Arthur Chase, Jacob Hand, John E. Buis III, 
Bast Lands, Christopher Clifford Johnson, Corey Chiokio, Tom Stevo from Columbus, Ohio, Robert R. Roberts III, Channy Bear and Toytle, Manaz, Chris, Aaron Stike, Chris the Microscoop, Joey, Badger McCullough, Josh Eby, and Sean Reynolds. Patrons will be able to serve as producers for the animated series. That might be a promise I can't keep, and indeed will make a lot of people incandescent with anger, but I'm going to commit to it anyway. Each of you will get an office, a folding chair on set with your name on the back, the whole Hollywood treatment. Yes, even you, Chris the Microscoop. Now, don't quote me, but also, you know, quote me. You'll also get ad-free episodes, the entire back catalog, including all the previous spin-offs, and at least two new bonus episodes each month. Currently, the Patreon is running new episodes for season four of Offices and Bosses. Here's a clip of the most recent episode with Aaron Keith, Olivia Nielsen, and Bill Arnett. You ever been out of that GNC? What does that stand for? The GNC? Oh, yeah. I've swam in the GNC before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think that's the and GNC. And oh. G, G, G and C. Was this the same thing? GNC? Filled with protein. Oh, it's just an ocean, fill, a, a sea filled with protein. Wow. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. I have to check the, that out. Yeah. The GNC. Do you guys see Metamorph keeps pointing in the direction of the sea, but he's kind of like flexing his arm as he's <laughs> yeah. pointing left and right, deciding which direction? Yes, I, I've also noticed his brow is very sweaty and he keeps pulling his shirt up to wipe his his head off. This seems like there's got to be an easier way to do that. But I can see his abs, his amazing abs. Is anyone else seeing him in slow motion? Absolutely. <laughs> and I have to apologize. I spilled some oil on my chest oh my earlier. God. What I decided a mess. to just Trigger rub warning. it in. Rather than try to wipe it up, I'll just rub it in. It's black oil. <laughs> it's black. It is it's black not like oil. baby oil. It's like black. <laughs> it's like tar. It's like what they wash off ducks. <laughs> And there's more, although I can't promise any greater level of resolution. To hear the rest and learn more about supporting the show, visit patreon.com slash magic tavern. Want to support the show in some way besides joining the Patreon? Give us a review on your podcatcher, post about us on social media, or bring us up in conversation with friends and family and watch the light drain from their eyes. We're not proud. Every little bit helps. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adol Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. Associate producer, Anna Hoverman. This episode edited by Red Keener. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland. <laughs>